Welcome to another episode on the Vape Train Gaming Channel. Are y'all ready for a little game of hide and sink? Stay tuned, we're gonna go get hidden. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on this hide and sink mission. Uh, the terminal is actually over here on an island. Uh, if I remember correctly, you can teleport to east, and it'll actually take you right onto this island. So we're gonna do a exploratory tour mission. Um, but uh, let's see if I get directly on top of this bad boy so I can actually show you all the exact coordinates. On. Yeah. yeah. All right, so sitting on top of this terminal. This terminal is over at 3055. Um, and of course, we're doing this on the coveted Quest Sausage. Um, Quest Sausages, uh, the Basilosauruses, are actually really great for the ocean missions. You can do almost every single ocean missions with these. And if you breed enough of them, you can go and kill Motor with no problem. Uh, we'll do that in another video. But don't forget your Lazarus Shatter and your Scuba Gear because you don't want to drown and die. So let's get this party started on... Yemma, of course. Now, this mission is basically, it takes you around to specific points around the ocean biome. Um, you follow, there is a little color meter at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see it in just a minute. And you follow it to the specific points that you're supposed to be going to. So let's go ahead and hop on the quest sausage, and let's go follow the green light. So this is telling me that way. So it's right here on this island. So let's... I can get up there without getting killed. Alright. Alright. Got it. Got the first one. Home moving. Follow the green mission. Okay. Where is this? That way. Thank you. Yeah? Kind of? Sort of? Is there more on the island that I don't know about? I don't know. Um. That way. Alright. Definitely going this way. So as long as you're going in the correct direction, it'll show you... You're looking for all the green spots. But this one is hidden up underneath here. Grab this one. Now you normally have anywhere between four to five like different little things in each area to gather uh, the little shiny points around here. So there's another one. Right down here, and I gotta make sure to take my Lazarus Chatter, because I did not do that, because I was standing on an island! All right, so we got that one. Now let's go find the last one, and then we have to progress our way to the next zone, or region, as they call it. Uh, this is called the Babies. All right, so I got all four here. Let's progress on to the next spot, which is 600 meters away. Y'all stick around, we're gonna fast forward through this. Alright, so we made it over here to Helm's Reef, and now we have to go find the other shiny points around here. There's green this way. Could it be at the surface? Yes. Towards the surface, at least. Look for green shiny orbs. Or little shiny bits. Now, of course, you're running around on the Basilo, because the Basilo is nice and tanky. You can handle just about everything in the ocean here. Um, eels, their electricity doesn't affect them. Jellyfish doesn't affect them. Where is this spot? Up here towards the top? I think it is. Is it up here on this? Okay, going wrong. Ah, I see it right down below. Right at the top of this little spot. Oh, look. Giant pile of eel to eat. Om nom 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 nom. Okay, 
So this one's in right here. Let's see if I can get that before I end up getting zapped and killed. Got that one. On to the next one, which is fiction right down here next to another giant thing. So this is the whole reason why we're using the Baslow, folks, so we don't have to worry about it. Look at that, lightning. You do nothing to me. Nothing! Alright. That way. Probably gonna take me down a little bit. Also, watch out for the ski the sea scorpions. They are painful. <laughs> like absolutely painful. Uh, they will drop your stamina and put you to sleep ridiculously fast. But be wary of that. Um, jellyfish, that's not cool. The jellyfish kind of looks like one of the points. Alright, eels. Okay. Alright, uh, this way. Yep, there it is. But yes, if you start getting attacked attacked by one of those scorpions, be very wary. You're kind of screwed. Ow, 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 ow. Get on the sausage. A sausage might not be affected by these things, but you surely are. That hurt. Oh, man, I thought I grabbed it. Okay, we gotta kill everything real quick. Because they decided that they were gonna be a pain. Yeah, anglerfish, run away. Yeah, there's that one. You got the third one. And where is the fourth one? That way. Now, I'm hoping that this doesn't try to take you up on, like, certain islands that you can't even swim up. And you can't get on them. That would be mean. Like, how am I supposed to get up there? Y'all do nothing. Shut up. Okay. Green stuff. Green stuff. Right down. Going super green. So, right there. Yeah. Right there on one of these things. Destroy these, can't you? Yes, you can. So let's see if I can grab this real quick without being killed by a bunch of stuff. Alright, got the fourth one. On to the next region. Which the next region is... Da -da -da, that way, 800 and some odd meters. I'll stay in tune, we're gonna fast forward through it. Alright folks, we're at the third region, I believe, and it's called the Terrarium. So these underwater terrariums here are actually really, really cool. Um, inside has oxygen and everything else, so if you're ever down at the bottom of the ocean, you're about to die and you see one of these, run into it. They have like specific entrances on the side that you can actually get in and you can run around in the terrarium. And I don't know if I'm supposed to actually go run around in here, but I'm probably going to have to. So, uh, make sure you bring a cryopod with you at least so that you can actually like turn around and put your basilo away before, you know, leaving them out here with all the Moses and the eels and stuff like that, because you don't need your basilo dying because of that. Um, let's go through my inventory real quick and let's see if there's any specific I want to take with me. I'm going to take these with me because this is all from a prior mission that I just did. Get all of this out of here. Not to mention gear that I extra gear that I had just kind of chilling on my hot bar. Um, so I think that's well. I need my whip because you gotta whip it. Arch lantern. Okay. I don't 
have that much time to do this, and I think uh, I think I have to go into the terrarium. So try to get away from all this stuff. You know what? I know these guys won't follow me to the surface. We're gonna go to the surface real quick, or at least high enough for them to stop pursuing me, and then we will swim down here as fast as we. Uh, let's see. Let's let's go ahead and put some clippers on so that I can swim really. Don Cleo, you are not helping my situation. Leave me alone. Okay, so certain uh, certain creatures will not follow you below a certain or above a certain depth. So like Plessy's, uh, Mosasaurs, and Dunkleos will not. So. Keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and get in here. Hopefully no one has built in here and made it ridiculously annoying for me to do anything. No, 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 no. No, I don't want to go in the whirlpool. That is definitely not what I want to do. No. Seriously? You're going to hold me down here? Throw me away? Ugh. That moment when you feel like you're probably going to die. Because you're swimming at the bottom of the ocean, trying not to die. Alright, let's get into the terrarium so I can at least feel a little safer. <sighs> Alright, go, 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 go. Get inside. Get inside. Hey, little squid. And I'm being targeted, and I'm inside. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and take these flippers off. Go look around. So, these things are absolutely... Uh, they did really well with all the animation and stuff in here. So go run around, grab the points around here. Uh, where's the next one? Next one down this way. Ooh, prepare the glitch that is here. Get an additional thousand hexagons. Good morning. Slash. Afternoon. Slash. Evening. Slash. Night. I am HLNA, and I'm here to guide you through the Genesis simulation. Are you ready for adventure? Insert name here. Oh, sorry. That glitch rebooted some of my verbal processes. Should be all sorted now. Good. Get out of my way so I can grab this. So, the best part about these little terrariums is there is a chance of specific rare materials. Like, there might be things in here that you can't normally get throughout the map. Uh, red gems, blue gems, uh, um, all, all sorts of like stuff in here. Uh, a few plants in here give silk. That type of stuff. I'm up here. See if I can get up here. This last point. Come on. Sitting over here on top of one of these. Some of, like some of these nodes are like stone and flint and stuff too. Oh, look, there it is. Can I get it? I, I can't get it because I destroyed that node. Um, Geronimo! Aha! Fighter suit for the win. All right, so we now need to progress to the next zone, which is da -da -da. where is it? Is it no well, either way let's get the bass low out and let's start heading in the right direction shall we all right let's get moving guys on to the next spot and now that I'm on the vessel, I need another Lazarus Chatter and not die. Telling me to go some direction. All right, this way, I think. Where's the little pointer? So we're going to a region called the Scar, and I can't seem to find the point on the screen. That'll show me where it is I'm going. I guess I'll just follow green, go that way. All right, let's fast forward.
All right, folks, we're down at the next area. It is called the Scar, which seems fitting because it looks like a giant. Oh, and here is where you find squid. It's good to know. Huh. And I'm not really worried about the squid because I'm on a basilo. So basilos are pretty great for that. Don't get caught in a bubble. Man, see the squid's trying to grab me? He can't grab me. Keep this going. Let's kill this squid so that maybe I can actually... Oh, don't ink me, you bastard. I you just keep biting until I can see again. Now, as you notice, my Basilo is taking a little bit of damage. And it's taking the damage because of the fact that I'm so deep underwater. So, grab this. Let's progress to the next one. No, oh, get on the sausage. All right. The next one is over this way. So yeah, definitely not one of the ones to do until you actually have a decent creature that you can run around. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Get on the sausage. Get on the sausage. I hate these whirlpools so much. They're going to get me killed one day. And it only figures, it spawns right on where I need to get off so that I can get that point. Just gonna get sucked in. It's fine. Oh my god. Where in the hell did all of y'all, why can't y'all get affected by this stuff too? Because those things are annoying. like sucking me into death. Like here, let's throw you in this. Jesus. And downfall is, is while well, creatures don't get affected by it. They just rump on through it. Let's try not to get my bass low killed today, shall we? And now even the point is inside the vortex. That's that's great. All right, so we're gonna swim down here for a second. We're gonna get the megalodons to follow me. That I can run over here, hop off of this real quick, go ahead and grab this, and then hop on the megalodon. Or hop on the, oh, that is a 150X megalodon too. What a shame. No, not a shame. Being a pain. All right, so we need to go find the next one, which is this way. Look, pretty, pretty plant. Pretty plant. Okay, so the next one, it says is over here, so let's see if we can get it. Yep, there it is. Go ahead and grab this one. We only need one more, folks. Let's go and see. It is this way. Get up or down. It looks like it's... Feels like it's in a little cave over here. And it is. All the way inside this little cave. Uh, look around, make sure there's no squid. Watch out, they do like to glitch into the wall. So we went ahead, and that is the end of that mission. Let's go ahead and get back to the surface here, folks, so I'm not drowning, and so my Basilo can stop taking damage. Also, let's get out of here so we don't get whipped up by another Whirlpool, because that's annoying! Whirlpools are ridiculous, folks. Like, they, they spawn at the most inopportune times, and they decide to, like, ruin your day. Da, 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 da. Let's not do this next to Whirlpool because I don't feel like getting thrown halfway across the map. Alright, folks. Get up here for a minute. A little way down, but we got a bunch of hazard suit stuff. We got gas masks, uh, Equisettle. Let's see, let's put that in there. Fishing pole, well, the hazard gloves and stuff are not from this mission, but these are Journeyman Rex saddle, uh, good raptor saddles, uh, Quetzal saddle if you need them, night vision goggles, uh, we got some more fins, Pachyrhinosaur saddles, we got a wooden shield, get rid of all this stuff because I don't really need it, um, riot leggings, which is always nice, um, and the edibles. Yeah. 
Arrhenio saddles, but those are useless. Uh, pikes. Nice. Uh, we also got duh, duh, 125 hexagons, which is really not that great. And my time was really, really slow, so that's why it put me at the very bottom there. But, you folks, make sure to come back and see me again. Thank you for watching, and if you could, make sure to smash the like button. Hit the sub button as well. And if you're looking for a really good cluster server for ARC, come and join us on arcsurvivalism.com. Look forward to having you here, and I really need more people to do races, so if you could, come and join us. Um, at the same time, folks, y'all make sure to keep on surviving. I'll catch you next time.